internet before you just clean or straighten up your fucking area that's gonna be in the frame of the photo. Do y'all understand that literally all you have to do is just move the shit out of the frame of the photo when you take it? Hotep, I'm your host of New Amen Hotep, and you are now tuned into Comedic Radio. This is a short broadcast. I just want to show you how to be able to identify with the effects of white supremacy. Here we had the perfect example, Tommy Sotomayor. We had a perfect example of black self-hate. Brother Nuke, what do you mean about black self-hate? I'm not saying this to hate on the brother, because he is still my brother. Whether he considers himself my brother or not, he is still my brother. Those that follow Tommy Sotomayor know that Tommy is known for his controversial views on blacks. He mainly focuses on blacks and their behavior. So there's nothing wrong with that. We, we need to be talking more about blacks and how they're acting and checking it and bringing it to the forefront so we can help to, you know, curb some of this behavior. But what I do have a problem with where there is a problem is when you talk about these problems or these behaviors, but you present no solution. You present no solution. And you even go as far as profiting off of the ignorant state of black individuals. Now, if you care, not to say that you didn't care, but let's say that you did care. If you care, your actions show it. You will be trying to present as many possible solutions for the, for the behavior it is that you're attacking. Remember when I said history is a guide, it's a road map? Let's not forget that when it comes to judging individuals that we choose to take up after or follow, you know? The ancient stories always state, biblical stories, whatever it you believe in, it's always a mythological story warning you about the wolf in sheep's clothing. The wolf in sheep's clothing. Tommy is one of those sheep. You know why Marcus Garvey was embraced by so many? Because his actions backed up his words. He said, look, I love you. Here's medical care. Look, I care for you. Here's a place to sleep if you got nowhere to go. Look, I love you. Come stand with us. I'll make sure that we have things for you to do. See, individual that's preaching on the behavior of the black community but are not presenting any possible solutions to fix it are the individuals that you must watch who's been preaching for 30 and 40 and 50 years but have not presented one possible solution to shift the stance of the black community you really have to watch those individuals you know, and Tommy is one of those individuals. I couldn't sit back anymore, man, because I, I got tired of him disrespecting some of some of our master teachers. You know, some of our, you know, esteemed black figures, those who actually have no evidence of being treated any other way. You know, so I finally wanted to touch on that. You know, like right here, you see Dr. Francis Cruz Wilson. He said some, some, some very disturbing and disrespectful things about that system, you know? And it seems to me that he is in his most happiest state when he is around the Caucasoid, you know? That's, that's just my opinion. I see him the most happiest, you know? But the one thing you won't catch individuals like this doing is talking about the mistakes that they made, you know? And the solutions that they adopted from, uh, from other individuals to get out of their current predicament. You see the mugshot, the mugshot the mistakes that they made, you know? I've made mistakes, I've been in jail, you know? But I also was humble enough to sit down and take solutions from everybody, because I understand everybody deserves to be listened to at least once, man or female. So I wanna thank everybody for tuning in. You just gotta watch these wolves in sheep clothing. They talk about our behavior, but present no possible solution. Those are not individuals you need to take seriously. They've been preaching for two and three hundred years the same old garbage, but have not presented one possible solution to move the black community, but it's helping move them. We gotta watch them. You're tuned in to Comedic Radio. I'm your host once again, Shimsu and Nuke. I'm in Hotel. I wanna thank everybody for coming out and supporting. One love, Shep. <laughs>